Hello guys, this week I have a food shop for you. You'll remember last week I went and I did a food shop in, now just it was only a top-up shop in Tesco's. It was a small shop, just a nice little top-up one because Hayley was getting ready to go up to Letterkenny and we we're going to save our big shop for the next shop we do. So on the Friday evening, I went up and I did a Tesco order, a Tesco shop and it cost me 50 euro now at the end of this video i'll link and underneath i will link the tesco shop and you can go see what i got in there i was absolutely so disappointed um, and i was absolutely disgusted at the prices but that was tesco's and then the day after Haley was getting ready to go up to letter kenny and i said to her come on being a mum she's a broke student so i like to when i'm when i'm bringing her up especially because i have the car i like to do a good shop for her and I was thinking, okay, well, let's let's get a decent shop. So we got a two-week shop, a minimum of a two-week shop. Now, obviously, she will have to get bread and milk, probably, and a fresh um, fruit. But it's mainly a two-week shop. So we went up to Aldi to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I certainly wasn't going back to Tesco's. So we went up to Aldi, and we did a shop up there. And I will show you everything she got in that shop i did record it up in letter kenny i actually cut it out of her vlog so i could do it separately so you could have a good look get the prices on screen get everything done so you could have a good look at it and as i said i would link the tesco shop that i did the day before for myself and carl in the house just a top up one i will link that at the end of the video right let's get into this video so um yeah so let me show turn around and i'll show you what Haley got in her aldi shop before we left you're all right so this is everything she got now because i'd like to take a little guess on how much she spent i probably told you in my last video anyway because i was a bit ranty about it so um i'll go through it and in no particular order just the way it's laid out on the table so we'll start down here at this corner. She got herself a brioche sliced loaf. I love brioche. She loves brioche. And there's a good date on it. November. The 14th of November is the date on it. So that will be keep her going for a while. So she got that. I have to sorry, I have to move things as we're going. She also got some diced turkey breast. That is 370 grams. Now she'll probably get two dinners out of that because she's not the biggest of eaters. So she has that. She also got some of these small, nice little uh, jars of the baby carrots and the peas in salted water. Again, two dinners out of that, but she got three of them. So that'll keep her going for a while. She also got a tomato ketchup with 50% less salt and sugar. Oh, I didn't even realise. No, but the amount of salt you put on your dinner, you could do with it. Honestly. So she got that. She also got a apple juice to keep in her fridge. Nice mm. and fresh for the mornings. Made from con concentrate. So... You like apple juice, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I'm not a lover of apple juice at all. Reminds me too much of me cider drinking days. And I gave myself a sickener on it. So she got that. She also got a spreadable butter. I love this butter too. So it's just a lovely flavour to it. So got that. She also got some real dairy cream. That's for her hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. so that's what she got that for sorry about the lighting guys it's a real yellow light in here so it's just making everything maybe look a bit funny she also got these bananas i think there's about six of them they're the mini bananas ideal for lunch boxes lunch box heroes so she can have them well they're saying they're children sized she also got some cans to have in the apartment. <clears throat> so she got some of the 
twisted fruit zero sugar. What did you say they were like? The tropical fruit, but oh, fizzy. Yeah. Tropical fruit juice, but fizzy. Yeah. Oh, very good. Be a nice treat for children, I'm sure. She also got some diet vive cola, which you can guess from the colours what one they're trying to imitate. And she also got some lemon, zero sugar. And that looks like club lemon cans, but she got them. So she's happy with them. Sorry, I just moved my coffee. She also picked up some of the 0% fat, four blueberry and vanilla Irish yogurts made of re real fruit pieces, no added sugar, high in protein, and it's a live yogurt, so it's good for the gut. So that's what they look like there. They look nice. So she got four of them. She also got four of the raspberry ones. Again, that's what they look like there. And then sort of as a sort of, I suppose Haley did nearly as a dessert, is the lemon yogurts. They're, much, they're smaller than the other yogurts, but they're high in protein, fat free, 61 calories per pot. So they look lovely actually. Greek style yogurts. That would have been a banana going through it now. She'll be happy out. She also got a tub of coleslaw, the specially selected coleslaw. So she loves coleslaw. She eats coleslaw with everything. She's a bit like myself that way. <laughs> Me and her would be the two coleslaw eaters, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Love a bit of coleslaw. So she's that. She also got some of the garlic spread, delicious spread infused with crushed garlic. Hayley loves buttered pasta. So she got the past the butter, the garlic butter, to put through her pasta. Just to give it a bit of oomph. Bit of flavour. Made using non-EU garlic. But it doesn't say where the garlic is from. Probably somewhere it shouldn't be from. Yeah, bizarre. I can say that. Anyway, she got that. She got some Ziploc bags so she can freeze some of the meat she got. Because as I said, she's not a big eater. So. What she is a big eater of, don't mind, is crumbed Irish ham. Hayley would eat this till it came out her nose. I would eat just that. Yeah, she just loves ham. You even cutting up a few bits onto your butter mm -hmm. pasta. I've She'll been, eat it on toast. I've been that my entire life, though. I've always been a lover of ham. Yeah, you have. In fairness, in your, all your life, you've been a lover of ham. So she got the big family pack of ham. Just for me, Just for yourself. She also got the chicken thighs fillets bumper pack, which is 800 grams, skinless chicken thighs. So we were saying we'll divide them up and we'll freeze some of them and cook some of them. But uh, yeah, happy days. So she got that. She got a baton, carrots, carrot batons washed and ready to cook. Now she will cook some of them. She also uses some of them as a dip because she loves nap, uh, snacking on carrots. So she has them. She also got a six pack of the prawn cocktail melts. They're the same as the, the potato skips. So she got a six pack of them. Happy, uh, they are her guilty pleasure. If you ever want to bribe Hayley, yeah. a packet of them or skips. The other thing she got to go with sandwiches is the Crunch Delight. They are very like the Tato Treble Crunch. They're like healthier ones. Yeah. Like but you know the Tato Treble Crunch, they're the same as these lads. Yeah. And they're cheese and onion flavour. There's six packs in there. So she got them. Now, down here, she also got a 12-pack of meatballs. Now, I was saying to her, how many meatballs would you eat? And she said, probably four. So that's three dinners in that for her. So we're going to divide them up and freeze two dinners, loads of them. 
that's that she also got the sweet snack bite peppers so she loves them absolutely loves them. always did though you were always a real veggie snacker weren't you always yeah yeah they're from the netherlands so she got a pack of them she also got a four pack sorry of the biscuits so there's a pack of nice pack of custard creams bourbons and shortcake so four packs of biscuits in there so they'll probably last her until christmas because she wouldn't be a very sweet snacker but every so often she'll have a cup of tea and she got, I just fancy a biscuit. And of course we never have them in. So we got them in this time. Also bought these are Haley's favourite snacks. <laughs> these are Farley Rusks. They're from age six months up. Baby biscuits. Baby biscuits. That's she loves them. Funny. She loves them with a glass of milk. Yeah. So. <coughs> Excuse me. So she got herself them to have as a treat. Did you ever try them in warm milk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just gorgeous. That's anyway, probably, probably. So that's what she got. She also picked up some tea because when we got here, there was four tea bags. And she said, I think I need tea. Well, I'm so glad she picked them up. So there's 80 tea bags in there. That'll keep her going. So she got those lads. Discover the perfect cuppa. Diplomat. This is called label Diplomat. So, pack of them. She also got the large family 17 slice Irish medium cheddar strength tuna. She loves eggs. She'd have eggs quite a lot. And she just cuts them up and puts them in or toasty sandwich or just straight on the brioche. Yeah, just a ham and cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwich. Can't go wrong, Hayley. Yeah. So, she got that. She also picked up some of the unsmoked bacon medallions. You can see this is gearing up for a cuddle. But um, she got them. So she's happy with that. She also picked up eight of the Irish pork sausages. So. And she also picked up 16 skinless pork sausages. I think they're for the cuddle. And our bits and pieces but they peel and reseal so she was happy with that so as i said everyone in my house loves sausages so she'll have a sausage casserole she'll have coddle she'll have sausage on toast just sausages so oh excuse me my nose is running since i got here she also picked up a tub of the cherry tomatoes she loves tomatoes her and my mum actually love tomatoes. These are Haley Love these. She I used to give these to the kids in their lunchbox and um, when they were going to school. They're the apple and raisin and they're like if you remember the Garibaldi biscuits, these are nearly the exact same as them. So she got one pack of the apple and raisin and she got another pack of the forest fruits. So there's five packs of three slices. So that's at least two weeks worth of lunches. At least two weeks. She also picked up two of the lactose free milk. One and a half percent fat. So that's that there. So she got two of them. She also got three bags of the microwavable baby potatoes. <laughs> Because she was saying, I really miss having potatoes, ma'am. She's like, hey, having to peel them and stuff. I said, why don't you get the microwavable ones? So these come already it a with a steam vent in them, in the bag. And you literally just throw them in the microwave for about eight, nine minutes. And they are done. And there's enough in there that she could have probably the majority of the bag. But even if she didn't, she could keep them for the next day and fry them off. Cut them in half and fry them on the pan with a bit of garlic butter. You know, so she's happy. She was actually happy she got the potatoes. So we got three bags of them. And then we got two bags of the oranges. The, what were they called? Mini Easy Peelers. So 
she got three two bags of them so happy out she also got a box of the churros with a cinnamon sugar and chocolate and hazelnut flavored dipping sauce so i'd say her friend will come in the two of them will devour them but uh, yeah that's her little treat her little splurge to herself and then finally she got some brucella delicately toasted delicious and light snack bread with tomato and oregano so she'll have that i don't know what she'll eat with it ham probably so that is what she got so that is everything Haley got in her food shop i reckon she should get two maybe two and a half weeks out of it before she has to start topping stuff up well bar the bread and the milk and maybe a bit of fruit but yeah that's everything she got right guys so i hope you enjoyed that shop and to be honest with you i was so impressed with the prices in aldi and i'm sure little be very similar and um, my next big shop will probably be in little but um i was impressed with aldi and the amount of stuff meat things like that that we got that and it was still 103 euro and i felt for a student now she'll probably in fairness to Haley, she will probably get three weeks out of that shop because she'll divide the chicken as she said herself that's four dinners the meatballs are easily three to four dinners she will freeze she's very good at doing that taking out what she wants and freezing them into little bits as she needs them so sorry the dog wants to go out. so um she would probably get three weeks out of that shop and compared to what i got in tesco's like how are tesco's still in business it is absolutely shocking anyway look that's enough for me ranting i'll probably get done for defamation now that would be the next thing it is a miserable day here it is raining windy it's just not a nice day the sky is bright enough but the trees are all turning and they're losing all their leaves but the wind caught right this morning and cleared all the leaves out of my garden at the front which was nice mr t is not really enjoying this weather are you mr t you're not enjoying the rain you don't do rain really you don't do cold actually you're quite a pampered poo pooch anyway right lads i'm going to leave it there mr t say goodbye no right i'm gonna go and i will talk to you in my next one guys take care of yourselves bye bye